Did you know that a nurse can quickly create a plan of care when a relevant abnormal lab value is recognized? Those students tend to focus on any abnormal lab as being relevant in the clinical setting. This is not the case in real world clinical practice. The nurse must be able to identify first if the lab is relevant as well as abnormal. I call this essential nurse thinking skill lab planning. In addition to identifying a relevant abnormal lab, the nurse must be able to recognize what assessments are required and must be implemented when an abnormal relevant lab is present. But in order to implement and utilize this essential nurse thinking skill, the nurse must have a deep understanding of F&E and A&P and, and not just simply have this content memorized in order to pass the most recent test. In a prior YouTube, do you know your BMPs? I explained which labs are always relevant in a basic metabolic panel and why. So for example, take this brief scenario of a patient who's been admitted with heart failure and has an elevated creatinine of 2.5 and a low potassium of 3.2. Creatinine is the gold standard for renal function. Therefore, it must always be noted as it was elevated in this scenario. Potassium is also an essential electrolyte for cardiac electrical conduction. There are important and essential assessments that the nurse must implement when these relevant abnormal labs are present with your patient. So for example, with creatinine, the gold standard for renal function, this lab is abnormal, relevant, and elevated. The essential assessments that the nurse must implement is for example to assess the daily weight, be very strict with INO, implement fluid restrictions if ordered, as well as be assessing for pitting edema and other signs of fluid volume excess. To lab plan with the potassium that is low at 3.2, the nurse must for example implement and make sure that this patient is on a cardiac monitor as well as assessing closely for any rhythm abnormalities, including the presence of PVCs or limited runs of VTAC. The nurse must also ensure that the physician or primary care provider has ordered potassium replacement therapy in order to get this level back to where it belongs at 3.5 to 5.0. As a clinical educator, I quickly recognized that my students did not have a grasp of this essential nurse thinking skill because it is not taught in most nursing textbooks. Therefore, I created a handout in chapter six of my student textbook, Think Like a Nurse, Practical Preparation for Professional Practice that will provide you as a student with a template and guide to implement lab planning as your nurse thinking skill. That is just one of many ways that nurses think in the clinical setting. If you're a student experiencing TMI, in your program as well as in the clinical setting, Think Like a Nurse will help you to focus on what is most important so you can grasp and apply this to your clinical practice. In order to think more like a nurse, be sure to incorporate this essential nurse thinking skill of lab planning. And remember that it's not what you know about fluids and electrolytes, anatomy and physiology, it's what you are able to apply at the bedside that will make a difference in providing safe patient care in the clinical setting. If you like this video, please share this as well as subscribe to my YouTube channel, Think Like a Nurse. And for more information on my book, be sure to check the link on this video.